Sean Sewell with Ingimma.com and I got his and hers sleeping bags from Sea of Summit. Got the uh, Altitude ATI and that is a 25 degree bag and then the, the men's Ascent ACI 25 degree bag. Well actually they're, they're 35. This one's a 25 and this one's a 35. Um, but it's all subjective really. Um, and as you can tell I'm in the snow here in Colorado up in Vail Pass camping. You know mild winter conditions and how I push the limits of sleeping bags is I usually wear uh, down pants, down jacket, and a beanie to bed. So keep that in mind with the temperature rates. Okay, let's get into the men's bag real quick. Out of camera. So they both feature 750 fill uh, water resistant down called ultra, dye, ultra dry down. Again, this is a uh, comfort rate over 35 degrees. Lower limit 25, extreme negative six. Um, probably wouldn't use it in extreme weather. This is a very lightweight sleeping bag. I'll specs below. But one of the things I like about Sea Summit is these really cool storage bags. A lot of sleeping bags will come in these really cumbersome big cloth bags that are they're great for air in and out, but not easy to store. These stack up really easy in a closet or under your bed. So get this guy out of the way. Sun's gonna set here in a moment and drop some nice temperatures. So here he is, 750 fill sleeping bag. Real nice bright color, I like that. So, you know, nice contrast in the dark, you can see it. Full length zipper, meaning you can open this all the way up so it's a quilt, which is great. So starting right here, follow the zipper, as you can see, all the way around, boom. And then how I've been using it too is I, I like to have a little bit more space so it has a zipper over here as well. So I like to open that up, open this one up, and kind of fluff this guy down. And then really nice hood, cinch it up, of course. Um, and I just love the, the feel of this ultralight fabric, it's soft against the skin. And again, uh, 750 fill down is fantastic. Plus the next level, um, you know, not I won't say waterproof, but water resistant um, treatment. So you don't have to worry about your condensation of yourself or uh, condensation if you're using a single wall tent affecting the performance give or take of the bag and like I mentioned these mate so this one will mate to that altitude AI let's get that girl out here real quick and again awesome storage bag oh and they both come with compression bags too so here's the compression bag a legit compression bag too like a compression bag that you would actually go probably buy for a different brand sleeping bag in a heartbeat that's a uh, Cordura fabric it, and it compresses up, and look how small it gets. That's really small for a 750 fill water resistant down quilt sleeping bag that's mateable to his partner over here. Now, the woman's version right here. Again, 750 fill down, water resistant, the ultra dry down, and like the male version, opens up all the way, and it also mates to the other sleeping bag so you can create a really nice you know sleeping situation for two people uh when my wife and i camp we always use a two-person sleeping bag um it it just it works better uh keeps us warmer at least one of the dogs we have two dogs will get into the sleeping bag with us and we are we're good to go um currently uh, it's gonna get definitely below freezing it's, right now it's probably about 40 when that sun sets here in half an hour or so, it will definitely get down to the 20s, maybe even the teens. So uh, we've used those temperatures before, the combination, and it's been fantastic. Um, oh, I wish you could feel the fabric, it's really nice and soft. Uh, Cedar Summit makes fantastic stuff. Um, I have a sleeping pad uh, I'll be reviewing next that I've used a lot, um, even at home, which is always nice to have a, a self-inflating insulated sleeping pad for guests, or sometimes, you know, We've been working from home a lot the last seven months. It's nice sometimes to just go to a different room and sleep. <laughs> I snore quite a bit. So uh, it's nice to have that on hand. Uh, it's super comfortable. It self-inflates and we'll have that review up separately. But yeah, this is the um, Altitude and Ascent uh, male, female mating, fully like quilt style as well. Like you can open up and use it on your bed as a comforter. Um, this is a very versatile setup. Again, 750 fill, waterproof down, 
water resistant down. I don't want to call it waterproof out. Somebody's going to go out there and try and submerge a sleeping bag and get wet and cold. And we don't want that. But it'll handle all your condensation from yourself for the tent, like I mentioned earlier. And they both compact up really small, like I showed you. It's an amazingly small stuff sack. So definitely backpack friendly, back, backpacking friendly. And in our case, we're, we're camping, um, we're car camping, truck camping. So for us, it's a no brainer. I, I, and again, I don't store uh, sleeping bags in the compression bag that you just saw. It's best to store them either flat, which is ideal, or in these really handy stuff um, bags that I keep lamenting over or um, gloating over. They're just really, really handy. So, see if something makes great stuff. Been a fan for a long time. Really stoked that they sent these out to test. And uh, stay tuned for the sleeping pad review as well. It's actually, going on record, my favorite sleeping pad yet. And you know how much I love some other sleeping pads I've mentioned before. This one takes the cake. So stay tuned for that. Sean Sewell with EngagementGearMed.com. Hopefully you found it somewhat helpful. Got any questions, please put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to get back to you uh, with further respects and details that I'm sure that I, I missed in this video review. It is getting cold and I want to go walk my dogs and enjoy my dinner. So take care. Until next time, see you later.